All right, everybody. Welcome to another game of Fitness Trivia. Let's go ahead and get started here. Marching in place. Feel free to join me on the seated exercises. Or join me standing up or switch on and off. Whatever works best for you. And realize you're not just going to be getting some physical exercise, you're also going to be getting some great mental exercise with the trivia, riddles, and jokes that we got for you. So let's go and get started. Our categories for today are brain health, riddles, quotes, and jokes. Mom, why don't you go ahead and spin the wheel for us? All right. All right. Looks like we'll be starting with quotes. All right. First up, we're going to bring our arms up over our head. Deep breath in. Exhale, fall forward. Good. Inhale, back up. Exhale, forward. And first trivia question is, who said insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting something different to happen? Remember to go with the pace that works best for you. Feel free to mirror us or go faster or slower. Listen very closely to your body. Who is it, Mom? My very favorite all-time scientist, Albert Einstein. Indeed. All right. Next up, we are reaching across. Good. Good. Oh, this feels so good. Yes, because it is good for you. Who said, be the change you wish to see in the world? Let's go a little bit quicker here. Get our heart rate up a bit. And who is it, Mom? Gandhi. Gandhi, absolutely. All right, next up, we are reaching over our head. Yes, absolutely. Looking lovely over there. Who said, I like women. I don't understand them, but I like them. A little hint, notice the accent he used on that quote. The accent I attempted to use. <laughs> Another clue for you, think 007, the original. All right, who is it, Mom? Sean Connery. Mm -hmm. All right, next exercise, gonna bring our arms out to the side. We're gonna touch our toe. And who said, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest? Can I give them a clue, Mom? Okay, if you have a hundred dollar bill laying around, take a look at the face on it. Good, and maybe just a little bit quicker if we can. Again, we're getting ourselves a good workout today. Oh, I'm feeling it. Uh huh. All right, who are we gonna see on that hundred dollar bill? Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. All right, next exercise. We are back into our marching. Yes. And as you will see to my side here, my mother is demonstrating a lovely yellow cast on her wrist. She actually had a fall, had a minor fracture. She's okay. And while there are some things she's not able to do. Um, excuse me, a lot of things I'm not able to <laughs> a do? A lot, I'm sorry. A lot of things she's not able to do. She's focusing on what she can do and doing fitness trivia. And so happy to be able to do this. And speaking of mothers, who said, if you judge people, you have no time to love them? The famous mother. What a nice quote. All right. And who is it, Mom? 
Mother Teresa. Absolutely. All right, so that concludes our quotes portion of the trivia. <clears throat> we'll go back to our wheel to the side. So go ahead and spin it for us, Mom. Okay. All right, and looks like we've got jokes. All right, I'm ready to laugh. Now, it turns out our jokes have gotten so good that they actually booked us for the big stage. So we'll take a quick break here and off to the big stage. All right, we're gonna get right into side steps here. So one foot to the side. Yes, yes, beautiful, looking good over there. All right, now first joke is, what kind of fish performs surgery? And the whole thing I said earlier about our jokes being really funny, and us being on the big stage, that was a bit of a joke. It wasn't serious, we're more on the corny, cheesy, Super funny, but kind of cute side. All right, Mom, what kind of fish performs surgery? A neurosturgeon. Oh. <laughs> All right, next exercise, we're gonna go right into squat. So if you're standing, you're gonna squat. If you're sitting, you're just gonna lean forward and come up. So lean forward and come up. And again, if you're seated, using your legs to propel yourself backwards and if you're standing obviously using your legs to go down as far as you comfortably can and all the way up good all right what does a pig use to clean its feet <laughs> i didn't know pigs clean their feet well but if they did <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely what they would use <laughs> Couple more, down as far as you comfortably can, and good. And all right, mom, what does a pig use to clean their feet? <laughs> a ham sanitizer. Ham sanitizer. <laughs> all, right, all, right. all right, next exercise, we are going to squat down, and we're gonna bring one leg up. Good, we're gonna squat down, bring the other leg up. Beautiful. All right, next one. What did the pirate say when he turned 80. What did the pirate say when he turned 80 years old? You know, you're looking good over there, right, Mom? I'm trying. You know, you know. All right, <clears throat> so the pirate said, I'm maybe. <laughs> I'm glad you did that one. <laughs> All right, next exercise, you're going to right into modified jumping jacks. So you're gonna arms over one side, arms over, leg to the other side. Good. Yes, lovely, beautiful. All right, why do cows have bells? Looking good, looking good. I've got my heart rate going now. And remember, the even if the jokes aren't that funny, feel free to laugh extra hard because it'll give you more of an abdominal workout. <laughs> oh, that's a great reason <laughs> to laugh. <laughs> All right, we can go just a little bit quicker. Looking good over there. All right, and the reason why Cows don't have bells as why, Mom? Because their horns don't work. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> All right, next exercise, one of my favorites here. You get a punch kick. Punch and kick at the same time, yes. I'm even stronger with my punch with this cast on. Yeah, watch out for Mama. Watch out. All right, what did the female DNA say to the male DNA? What did the female gene sequence say to the male gene sequence? Punch, kick, punch, kick. Good. We can go just a little bit quicker here. Now, it's definitely tougher for you standing people. Yeah, but we're gonna hang in there. Yes, yes you are. Good, looking beautiful. Right. 
So the female DNA said to the male DNA, do these jeans make my butt look fat? All right, next exercise, marching in place. And we're gonna go ahead and spin the wheel again. The okay. Next. All right, and it looks like next up we have riddles. So again, we are gonna go ahead and go somewhere a little more calm to deeply comp contemplate these riddles. Oh. All right, let's get into it with some squats coming down and up. Good, it's down as far as you comfortably can. And first riddle for you is, what's the difference between a well-dressed man on a bicycle and a poorly dressed man on a unicycle? And this one's a doozy, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a clue. It's a double meaning. So we have one word that represents clothing, and then we have two words that when put together represent the difference between the tires and the bicycle and the unicycle. Good. Looking beautiful over there. All right, Mom, what's the answer? The answer for the clothing is a tire, which means there's a tire difference between the bicycle and the unicycle. That's right. All right, next exercise, do some shoulder circles. I get a good pace here. We're really gonna get a nice burn in our deltoids. All right, and this one is, why should you never date a tennis player? Good, good. Quick, tight circles here. And we'll give you a clue as well. What does love mean to a tennis player? Good, as quick as you can with those arms. Yes. All right, Mom, what does love mean to a tennis player? Absolutely nothing. And that's why you should never <laughs> date them. Okay, next exercise, we're gonna squat down and come up with a leg raise, beautiful. All right, and your next riddle here. In 1990, a boy is 15 years old. And in 1995, the boy is now 10 years old. How can this be? Hmm. You have any theories on this one, Mom? I do, and I'm <laughs> so excited to tell you. This little boy went on a spaceship with Albert Einstein, traveled faster than the speed of light, which means time goes backwards. Yep, so, um, that's, uh, that's my mom's take on the answer for this one. There's a, an alternative answer if, if you're interested. So another answer to this is that it occurred before Christ when time goes down chronologically instead of up. And audience, it's your choice who had the best answer. I'm guessing you sold yours better, mom. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, next exercise, we're gonna go ahead and squat down and come up into an arm press. Good, squat down, up into an arm press. What five letter word sounds the same when you take away the first, third, and fifth letter? And I'll give you a clue for this one too. You can think of the glass as half full, or or mom's version write down the word empty <laughs> cross out the first third and fifth letters what are you left with <laughs> empty you get it all right next exercise back to the favorite punch kick you're gonna punch kick punch kick Yes. All right. And next riddle here. What starts with M, ends with X, and has an endless amount of letters? You want to give him a clue, Mom? 
you probably have one of these in your front lawn. And I hope you can hear me over the heavy breathing <laughs> I'm doing from this workout. That's a good one. All right, what's the answer, Mom? A mailbox. A mailbox, absolutely. All right, now our last category is going to be brain health, and we're gonna go somewhere that feels like a brain healthy place. All right, first up, we're gonna do our squats, coming up with an uppercut, beautiful, yes. And our first brain health question is a true or false one. Meditation helps to increase the density of the gray matter in our brain. Is this true or is it false? And so you know, the gray matter, this is the accumulation of the nucleus, the heart of our neurons, our brain cells. So you want it to be nice and dense. Looking good. And what's the answer, Mama? True. It is very true. This brings me to another point here that not everything is always black and white. Gray matter. All right, next exercise, we've got our modified jumping jacks. Beautiful. And another true or false question for you. High blood sugar levels correlate with an accelerated rate of brain decay. True or false? Do high blood sugar levels correlate with more brain decay? Right, and what's the answer, Mama? Yes, that's true. It is very true. So you wanna keep our blood sugar levels down so we keep our brain nice and full and functioning well. And we do this by passing on the sweets. Mm, maybe just a little sweets? Mm. Uh, I guess not. All right, next exercise here. We are playing the piano and we're crossing our arms like so. And I'm gonna ask this question and let the doctor give the answer. What is a synapse? He's playing the piano and crossing the arms over. Feel the burn in your shoulders, Mom? I definitely feel I'm the burn in my shoulders. It too. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so a synapse is a connection between neurons, the cells in our brain. And the more we do new things, like learning to play the piano, learning a new language, anything that's novel, the more you're gonna create these new synapses and this is gonna to lead to a more dynamic mind. So do new things. And this is new for me. All right, next exercise, we got punches. Good, good, beautiful. All right, now question here, what is angiogenesis? All right, I'm going to go ahead and give you a clue here. What delivers your blood to your brain? This would be your blood vessels, and angiogenesis is the creation of new blood vessels. So the more you do this, the more you create these new blood vessels, the better you're going to deliver nutrients and oxygen to your brain, the better you can get the waste products out, and you can see and the image to the side of my mom here, what this angiogenesis looks like. And guess what creates angiogenesis? Guess what causes it? What we're doing right now, cardiovascular exercise. Not just for the body, but for the brain too. All right, and for our last exercise, my mom's gonna lead us here. We're gonna do some deep breathing. If you're standing, spread your legs apart. Bend down. Nice and comfortably. Full deep breaths. All right, and last question for you is, what part of the brain perceives touch? And the 
answer is the parietal lobe. This is on the sides of our brain. And the special thing about this is that when you get healthy touch in your life, this is gonna boost your immune system, this is gonna reduce stress and anxiety, and these are very healthy things for the brain. All right, everyone. Well, this concludes our game of fitness trivia. Thank you very much for joining us. And give yourselves a round of applause. You really have just done something very special for yourself. You gave yourself a great physical exercise and you challenge your mind to learn new things along the way. So kudos to all of you. Thanks for joining us. Check out our other videos. Watch this one again and do whatever is best for you and your health. If it's to eat better, to meditate more, to sleep, whatever it is that's best for you, get out there and do it. And if you'd like any custom, customized support in doing this, reach out to one of our health coaches at Whole Brain Health Initiative. We have links in the description down below. It's been wonderful to be here with you and we'll see you next time. Bye. Take care everyone.